Okay, it's 7 o'clock. Let's call this meeting to order. Uh, roll call. Uh, Chairperson Street. Present. Vice Chairperson Nichols. Present. Secretary Demick. Present. Commissioner Russell. Absent. Commissioner Hope. Absent. Yeah, he's got, he had surgery. And uh, Trustee Blackstock. Here. Okay. Uh, approval of the minutes. Anybody have any comments on the May minutes? If not, I'll entertain a motion. So moved. S second. S second. You got it? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Minutes are approved. Public comment, if there's any of the, other than the, the two presentations, is there any of the public here that wants to make any comments? I don't see any. Very good. We'll close that section. And unfinished business, site plan review, Mid River Condos. Okay, gentlemen, you're up. You got it. I'm sorry, I'm fairly deaf. I'm fairly deaf. Oh. I cannot hear you. Okay. Uh, so you're, 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 we're uh, discussing your your site condos right now. Okay. Sorry, yeah, come on up. <laughs> I, that's okay. I have a thing. Okay. Uh, the it, it looks like the, the layout is a little different than what we reviewed it last year. Okay. And one of the comments we had was. Sack down here, yes. whether that with that island in the middle, they don't know if they can get a fire truck around it. Uh, we, we can, um, so the we can lay a, a tap out of a fire truck, or we could reduce the island. There, if there's would, uh, there's an actual, shoes, I uh, think, there's an actual fire code, right? That, that but to follow the St. Clair County Road Commission's detail, so I doubt that they would have done that if it would be okay. Contrary to the fire department. This is their, their detail, yes. Okay. In fact, it's a radius of 40 instead of 50 instead of 48, which is what our detail has shown. Okay. But I believe all that is is that it's probably a 48 foot radius to the interior of the curb. Yeah, they were more concerned with the inside one. Right. With, we with can certainly we could have it. no island except for the water service leads. Uh, Do you have a? It would be necessary to have some sort of green belt, and we could certainly leave them more pavement than island. This is from. Well, that is up to the St. Clair County Road Commission. Yeah, this is David Westrick, the St. Clair Fire Chief. So that was his very first time there. Yes. Oh, the hydrant spacing uh, is no but, more than 300 feet. Okay. I, 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 I think we were probably more concerned with mm -hmm. the, uh, the cul de sac, yeah. so you think it does meet well, we their can fire code? We absolutely address it directly with the fire department. Okay. We left that green belt in there uh, for DPW for the water service taps, so it's not underneath the roads. So there's okay. opportunity to dig those later. That can be smaller, obviously. Yeah. If we need to. And I actually like the layout of around lots 13 and 14. That fits all better, better than that other one did. Um, it looks like the that cul-de-sac is actually going to just about touch the bike path, is it? He's just short of the right way. So you, you, you plan on having an entrance, a pipe, pipe, bike path entrance to there? This wasn't really discussed. There, there would be a, a, it is shown that way. There is a sidewalk connection between uh, Bree Road sidewalk and the cul de sac sidewalk. Okay. Yep, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Right here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anybody else have any other comments? Was there? Um, I did one comment too. It just says on the prints that the old well is to be removed. Uh, we'd want to make sure that it's properly legally abandoned by a licensed well driller. Yeah, and now we're working with project control engineering to make sure. Uh, we had thought that you know, we can't grade in there. Mm -hmm. So, however, the drainage is, is how the drainage would be. We talked about doing some under drain, but they were concerned with roots. So, we're still going to continue working with PC. Okay. And, but there's an abandoned well house on the property well. that needs to be properly abandoned. The well needs to be plugged. Right. And the prints just say removed, so we want to make sure that's legally so plugged. I'm so sorry. No problem. I should just sit up there with you. 
<laughs> yeah. Bring your chair in. Right <laughs> okay. Herb? I think the only other thing we had that was questioned from the planner was the, the, the facades of the buildings. They Earlier, when this was first presented to us, they had shown us some renderings of what the houses were going to look like. Right. It'll, it'll it was, be real similar to that one that's built on, on Sanker Highway. It's that Craftsman design. Um, okay, so it's not differing much from what we received, no, whatever, a year and a half ago? No, pretty much identical to them. Okay. But they're different facades, or are they all uh, good? They'll be up to the individual homeowners. Okay, so there's going to be is some variants. Uh, Deed restrictions where they have to follow size materials, so they can't go, you know, stick a double light in there. So they're they're not going to be all the same. No, not all. No, they're, they're not all the same. A person can hire their own builder as long as they follow the same size and footprint. And okay. Minimum restrictions. Sorry. Yeah. All set. Okay. Everybody happy? Let's take motion. Make a motion that we pass this plan as presented tonight. Okay. Do you want to say anything about the cul-de-sac then on there or not? Um, sure. Just verify that the cul-de-sac meets the meets the fire code. The fire code. To the satisfaction of the St. Clair fire sheet. And I would add that the well is properly abandoned. And that the well is and the well is properly, properly abandoned. Abandoned. Okay, with that, I'll second the motion. I'll support. Herb. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Business site plan review for the DTE cooling tower fan enclosures, and this is kind of a strange one because it's it doesn't fall within the building code type thing because it's part of the power plant. Uh, at the same time, I guess the planning commission originally approved the power plant, so they decided planning should take a look at it. Um, I guess uh, our engineer looked at it. His only main comment was that. Of course, it isn't a site plan. Well, yeah, because it's right in the middle of the of the power plant site, so he didn't do an individual site plan on it. But I, I the main takeaway I had was that he was uh, just concerned that the drainage was properly addressed. And so I, I mean, there's no more water there now than there than there will be. It's just that it maybe it's, I don't know what what the building does it have down and downspouts on it, or is there? Just as long as they're directed somewhere. It's directed back toward the cooling tower. So it'll get to a drain somewhere there. Okay. Um, anybody else have any comments on that? I guess the only question I got is: is there any additional noise generated with this operation? It, it, it'll probably be slightly less. We're enclosed in the surf water pumps, but it's it's not it's going to be minimal, but it won't be any louder. You know, we we are we do have a hoist, but that's going to run. Guys, make a hell of a racket when you blow the air out of that pipes. That's, a <laughs> That's not good when we do that either. <laughs> you caused all sorts of commotion in the neighborhood. Okay. Larry, you got any comments? No. You go to the is it, you designed it strong enough for the foot of ice it's going to collect on it? It's it this is part of the. Yeah. Well, you're keeping, the, you're keeping the ice off of the pumps, but <laughs> now the ice well, is going to be on the building. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're trying to keep it off the screens of the intakes and the Okay. Because it's big. That's what you get for going with the cheapest bidder. Huh? <laughs> My our group's coming in late. So we're actually, so we're actually you, you can blame it on Decatur. Yeah. Yeah, he left. He left. Uh, ah. yeah. All right. Anybody else have any comments?
All set? Okay. Make a motion. I'll make a motion that we approve it as presented. Okay. And support? Support. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. You're, you're good to go. Did, hi. hi, did you come to make a public comment on the Planning uh, Commission? No, actually, for some reason I had my timer down at 7.30 that you all started, and then I saw on the website it said 7, so um, I'm a newer resident, oh. and I saw that you had a vacancy on several committees, so I thought I would join a meeting of each one to just kind of get a little, okay. learn a little bit about what y'all do. And okay, good. Well, that's why I'm here. Okay. Good, good. Yeah, we, we just switched our meetings from 7.30 to 7, so that was... Okay, okay, that might be where I got yep. it. This uh, is... My name's Candace Nagel. I'm pleased to meet each of you. Hi, Candace. So, thanks for having me. Okay. Um, we're down to other matters to be discussed by the commission, and I think we had one matter that we tabled from last month was the review of the master plan. And so I sent out the digital copies we, we had the paper copy from last month, and uh, I sent out the digital copies so they could be seen in color. And um, anybody else have any comments on it or? Yeah, no comments. My only comment is, from the existing land use to the future land use, on Recor Road, they show the corner of Recor and Point Drive as mixed residential and just a few weeks ago or a oh. few months ago we approved the township dpw there yep we did so i would think that in in 40 years it's still going to be there yep. or 30 years you that, know i noticed that when we did it and then it, i went out of the bed okay and the other one was you see where he's talking future land use mm -hmm. What page was that on? Yeah, he's got it. On this corner right here. Okay. Down by the park right line there, entrance yeah. right down here. Yeah, we we just approved from putting that township building right there. Right. So that shouldn't be mixed residential, should it? Well, future land use? I mean, the, the future land use is basically just a guide if someone wants to do something different. So it's not a lock into like I zoning. Know. I mean, we can. I don't, I don't know if putting the, the government buildings are usually exempt from the zone. Yeah. Yeah. So no, we're just, this is just, this isn't zoning, but this that, is future I mean. land. I mean, if we can, if they put the building there and it stays, I don't know if it have an impact on it. Cause I don't know if he would change it to something different if, if he knew the building was going there. You know, what would he, what would he change it well, to? Well, they have a public or quasi public. They do, but I don't know if that would, from like a zoning standpoint, I don't know if changing and that, yeah, but changing it, just this little piece right here. Yeah, I mean, the reason he's got it zoned that block for future is because it makes sense because all the other neighboring ones are, are zoned yeah. similar family. Well, okay. they're, they're zoned a mixed resident, the mixed residential this way. Long point, and then residential wraps around it. Yeah. So I mean, that's kind of why yeah. in the future. Okay. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's there in 30 years. Maybe it's not. I, okay. If you want to change it, I don't. You can get his input. No, on that. I don't really care. Okay. Um. And the other one that we just approved is is on the. No, that's future too, though, isn't it? It's marked a single family. That multiple that we just approved here on the corner of Walnut. Oh, yeah. I guess it doesn't matter. Did they get that? Did, well, did they get that rezoned? Well, it doesn't. It what, does doesn't the, what does the existing it, zoning map show? The existing zoning map shows it as agricultural. No, is it? Vacant agricultural. Down <laughs> here off a of point in Walnut? Where we just well, that makes sense. That was part of that farm. Yeah, but I figured it would have been zoned residential with everything around it. 
the current zoning. I don't the, know. The front half of it where the dollar store is, is, is shown on this map in the red. That's so commercial. that's the commercial. Yeah, sure. But the back half is, back half is shown in vacant agricultural. On our current zoning map? Really? Well, on this one that was in the master plan book, I didn't look on our current zoning. Oh, okay. And maybe that's not right. Oh, the land use. Okay. Existing Not the plans. zoning map, but nope. this is what's actually. So this map is actually what is there, oh, what thing. it's being used for. So it might not be. So you could technically you could have a non-conforming on this map because it was there forever. But so this is actually what is there. Yeah, it's not what it's zoned. So the zoning for that should have been. Zoning plan. So like what's the like the factory down by the little grocery? Yeah. That's probably is shown as industrial, but it's it's non-conforming. Yeah, it's shown as industrial. Yeah, so that's the that's actually a a, a snapshot of what is actually physically yeah. there now being used. Yeah, okay, so that is zone that's zone right now is zoned uh, multiple family. So yeah, so they didn't have to get a rezoning when they okay. that. But that's my only comments. Okay. All right. So, I I would make a motion that we uh, forward the the master plan to the township board for their approval and to further the process. There are several steps that have to take before the master plan is approved, but the township board has to take the next step. I'll support that. Okay. We got support on it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Nope. Very good. Is there any any other matters that uh, anybody wants to discuss? What's that one? The, the bylaws. Do we have to actually change these tonight? Uh, Cindy said we actually did. When, <laughs> At the last meeting. Yeah. Okay. Remember, we said we would make the motion and see if it was six, mm -hmm. and yeah, she said, was "Yeah, that was good enough." <laughs> okay. <laughs> Voice of reason. <laughs> Okay, any other matters? No. If not, entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Larry? Support. Support. Herb? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.